Dear friends, it's a pleasure to say a, a few words to you through this video message on the legal recognition of same-sex couples. We've witnessed rapid development in Europe in this issue area. Currently, 27 of 47 member states provide some form of legal recognition for same-sex couples. Finland just allowed same-sex marriage, and draft legislation on registered same-sex partnerships is currently under discussion in Malta, San Marino, and Monaco. Progress is slowly breathing life into the principle of equality on which European states are founded. Indeed, granting access to registered partnerships to stable same-sex couples is a matter of equality. It boils down to ending discrimination against people for who they are or whom they love. While states have led the way in adopting laws on same-sex partnerships, a 2015 case at the European Court of Human Rights is of particular interest. In the Oliari case, the court found that Italy violated the rights to family life and had discriminated against three same-sex couples for failing to offer any possibility for legal recognition of their stable relationships, either through marriage or registered partnerships. The judgment strongly suggests that states have the positive obligation under the European Convention on Human Rights to provide legal recognition to same-sex couples as a way to protect their right to family life. Equality before the law is not just symbolic. Legal recognition brings benefits, rights, and obligations, without which rainbow families face specific problems in their daily lives. For example, the lack of inheritance rights, the lack of access to a partner's health insurance, visitation rights, or access to a medical file in case of hospitalization. Protecting the rights of gay and lesbian people starts by combating deeply rooted homophobia that fuels discrimination. This starts by making the community visible so that more and more people realize that LGBT people could be their son or daughter, brother or sister, and that we're all equal. Awareness raising campaigns and studies, such as the one to be launched on the diversity of families in the wake of this conference, are instrumental to advance the rights of LGBT people. It's encouraging that a draft law on legal recognition of registered civil partnerships is to be developed and submitted to the Ukrainian government this year under the National Action Plan for Human Rights. All European states should enact legislation to create, at the very least, registered partnerships for same-sex couples and ensure that registered same-sex couples have the same rights and benefits as married or registered different sex couples. Again, it's a matter of equality. I wish you very fruitful exchanges during this conference.